asking questions tonight after a teen who escaped from the Center for Adolescent Services in New Lebanon remains on the run, but two other teens appeared in court today. Maytal Levy staying on that story and learned today the escape was a crime of opportunity. Maytal. Officials are still looking for one teen who escaped yesterday from a center in New Lebanon. And as for the two teens in custody, they could be transferred to adult court. Commonly referred to as escape. Do you understand that? As two shackled teens appeared in court today, one is still on the loose. Investigators question family and friends as they search for that third escapee, 16 year old Anthony Michael Becton Clark, in custody for felony robbery and burglary. I would not say that this youth is going to be a necessarily a threat to anyone. I think he's primarily trying to uh, stay out of trouble at this point in time, stay out of view of the law enforcement, but that's certainly our hope and desire that, it, that we can catch him sooner or later. This isn't the first time teens have tried to escape from this detention center in New Lebanon, and after three teens succeeded through the center's ventilation system, officials want to make sure it doesn't happen again. We're going to address some of the issues that we've seen take place here, especially with the physical uh, the building itself. Uh, I think some things can be done to enhance the security out there. I asked him what the options are, and court administrator James Cole told me it could be hiring more security or putting more money in the facility itself. He says the center serves as a rehabilitation program, hoping to keep teens away from a life of crime. We want our staff to create relationships with these youth because we believe that that leads to greater uh, success in treatment and in rehabilitation. Uh, these youth have multiple issues involved, whether it be drug, alcohol, mental health, um, uh, dysfunctional families. There's so many things going on in these youth's lives that we're trying to address. For now, they're being held at the Montgomery County Juvenile Detention Facility. That could change if they're charged as adults. If you have any information about the third escapee, call 222-STOP. Maytal Levy, 2 News, working for you.